From Zombies Other Toys and their Wrestling's Hills and Faces line, this is good old Earl Hebner. Earl Hebner, of course, is one of the most famous referees of all time. I could say something about the Montreal Screwjob, and I just did. But he was also an evil twin at one point. Looking on the back, you can see some of the designs by Ron Rudant. Uh, this was a figure from Wave 1, and out of Wave 1, he was probably the most interesting because he was the first one to have uh, interchangeable hands. Alongside that, you can see here's the credits for this figure, and here's some fun facts. So Earl Hebner, he's 5'7", he's 161 pounds, he's from Richmond, Virginia. I'm actually just an inch taller than Earl. Huh. Earl is pro wrestling's most well-known referee. Agreed. Has officiated countless historical main events between oh main event matches from wrestling's biggest events. Fun fact about Ron Bonda John is apparently I can't read right now. And finally, oh, <laughs> Earl is actually an evil twin. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, um, a way to get Andre to beat Hogan one time was. There was a referee named Dave Hebner, who is Earl's identical twin. They both just happened to be referees. And they brought Earl into WWE so that they could have Earl cheat Hogan out of a match and then immediately reveal that he's an evil twin. Which, I don't know if that says more about WWE or more about Hulk Hogan. Maybe it's a little of column A and a little of column B. Getting Earl out of the box, and honestly, I'm just enjoying just messing around with the figure. He has more articulation than I would have thought he'd have. So he has a swivel at the head, swivel at the shoulder, a swivel at the upper arm slash elbow, whatever you'd want to call that joint, and a swivel at the waist. And weirdly enough, that makes him an incredibly expressive figure, especially for the Hasbro style. Like, you can get him into so many different uh, types of... Uh, I don't know what you would even necessarily call it. You can get him into so many varied looking positions and styles, and they all kind of work. What's even better is, like I said, he has an interchangeable hand. So right now I have him with a pointer finger, so right there. But you also have this, which I suppose could say that, you know, uh, you had him down for the two, but hear me out. Let's put that in real quick. Oop. Hippie Earl Hebner confirmed. I know it's the dumbest thing in the world to say, but in all honesty, just the general style of Earl and the way that you can pose him in so many different ways that all kind of flow, it makes him one of my favorite offerings from Zombie Sailor I've looked at so far. I would put him easily alongside Andre, the One Man Gang, and even Bruiser Brody in terms of their greatest figures. Uh, in terms of why I pulled out these two to go with Earl, it's because, hey, golden age of wrestling right here and of course we first met earl in an andre match while i have earl doing his best to be an e-girl right now i have to say really love this figure it is the most unique out of all the zombie slayer figures we've looked at so far just on sheer merit of not being a wrestler but instead of being a referee and it has so much personality to the figure that it's only enriched the collection to me I love the fact that he's going to be front row with all these figures, and I'm going to put him in some goofy-ass pose, and it's going to work.